Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to ask the question, do loaners make better software developers? All right, so I was just driving home from a client meeting and thought I would pull over to the side of the road to do a quick video. If you've been following Overpass on Instagram, you'll see that I've been doing a lot of client meetings lately. It's, it's actually really picking up. Work's been picking up and it's, it's kind of nice. Um, but anyway, I've been thinking about something. I wanted to just pull over and talk about it real quick. So earlier this week, I went to an event where I was with other parents. So I was talking to other dads in a group and we had a kill a bunch of time so just making small talk and as I said this before I am terrible at small talk get me talking about something I'm interested in something like technology or apps I could talk I could talk for ages but I just can't talk to people who are not in technology because it's not something I'm not interested in when I used to work in an office I used to hate making conversations about weekend plans or what the weather was gonna be or sports I'm just I'm into baseball, but that they don't do that over here, so I'm just not, I just can't have a conversation. And that's exactly what this was. We had a conversation with another couple of other dads, uh, where they were at. You know, when I said where I was from the states, they were talking about um, they wanted to talk about some sports like the ladies' football World Cup, and and I didn't really know very much about it. And then they started talking about cricket and football and tennis and Wimbledon, and I was just lost, right? I just can't keep a conversation going. So it was a bunch of dads, and I just sort of fade into the background, which is fine because it's kind of, I was more comfortable doing that anyway uh, than, than talking. But afterwards, I started to think, dude, is there something wrong with me? Because I feel exactly the same way as I did when I was a teenager, that awkward feeling, that social awkwardness where you get into a group of other people where you should be able to just have a conversation and you just feel like, I don't really know what to say. I kind of, I would prefer just to be by myself, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and nothing has changed since I, was a, since I was a teenager when it comes to that kind of stuff. A few years ago, well, God, like 10 years ago, I remember one of my kids asking me, hey, dad, how come you don't have any friends? And my whole answer was, well, I don't need friends. I've got you guys, which is true. I'd rather hang around with those guys, uh, hang around with my kids. But it's true. I don't, I've don't. i never really had a whole bunch of friends. And I do have friends. I have really good friends, but there's just a few of them and very, very close. But I'm not the kind of person who has, oh, oh, I've got a friend who does this. i got a friend who does this. i got a friend who does this. And I've always admired people who do that, the extroverted that could go out. And everywhere they go, they make new friends and they talk about all the different friends they have. But that's just not me but then I started to think I wonder if the fact that I've always been kind of a loner and always been kind of an introvert if that has helped me as a software developer because a lot of times you're you're stuck on a problem you're stuck in the code you could go for hours or days without talking to anybody there are some days where I don't talk to anybody except for my family and you guys and don't talk to anybody else through the rest of the day right it's just it's just the way it is and I know I've talked to other people where if I was working from home, they would say, oh, I can never work from home. I like the social interaction of an office or I, lo I love the social interaction of going to work. And when I worked in an office, I hated the social interaction. Right? I, would, I would rather just be focused on the work that I was doing or getting in a conversation with a, another developer where we could talk about what we're talking about. And I even like talking to clients because we're talking about solving a technical problem, which is different than, you know, hey, you got plans for the weekend? So, uh supposed to rain and that kind of stuff I've never been good at it so I started thinking about I wonder if that's just a good trait for a software developer to have to be kind of a loner to be kind of an introvert or if I'm just reading into that if I'm starting to think that because I know I met other developers who are much more gregarious much more social than I am uh, and they've been pretty good but I wonder by and large is is it better are do loners or introverts make better software developers and I don't have an answer for that and I've thought about doing this video before, but I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. I just have the question because my assumption has always been that, yeah, I think being a all those years of feeling socially awkward in groups 
it pays off because you're able to spend more time by yourself, more time with their technical problems, more time with the code than somebody who doesn't. So my question to you is, do you find that or do you think it's un completely unrelated? Do you think that that loners make better software developers? And do you consider yourself to be a loner? That's what I want to ask. So anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, sorry, it's a bit more introspective this time. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.